My name is Michael Heath. These activists say Maine law should not offer special protection from discrimination to members of the gay community. That's why they're pushing for a citizen's initiative to remove the phrase sexual preference from the Maine Human Rights Act. It very simply moves something, a behavior uh, that belongs in the closet back into the closet. I mean, it's, it's just, uh, you know, I, what do you say about that? I mean, Equality Maine Executive Director Matt Moonen points out that a similar push failed 11 years ago. Four years ago, Mainers voted to legalize same-sex marriage. So we are fully confident that we have large majorities on our side on these issues. Uh, and frankly, we're ready to move on. You know, Maine has actual problems that we could solve. The people who held today's press conference are also taking aim at another conservative advocacy group. They're essentially saying the Christian Civic League of Maine doesn't have the stomach to join this fight. The Christian Civic League of Maine has aborted its mission of defending the, the family in public policy. These activists, some of whom are former Christian Civic League leaders themselves, lashed out at the organization's current leadership and the members the group represents. They prefer a lifeless league free of the responsibility of carrying out its mission to protect the family from gay debauchery. Our chair, Carol Conley, the Christian Civic League of Maine's current executive director, says the group's members don't disagree with efforts to change the state's human rights law. They just don't know if that fight is worth fighting right now. Basically, it was not a matter of uh, didn't have the courage to do it or didn't have the appetite, but it's more a matter of of timing and, um, and resources. Thank you. God bless you all. In Augusta, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.